Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about Fracture with eponyms. This is the part 2. If you haven't watched part 1, I will provide the link in my description box. You can watch it from there. And if you are new here, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So let's get started. Nightstick fracture. It is an isolated fracture of Allah. It means only ulnar bone is involved in this. Then what is the pattern of injury? We have already discussed about the pattern of injury. It will be in transverse line or it will be in oblique line. Next is what is the site of location? Where does this fracture happen? So it is in mid diaphysis area. Then what is the mechanism of injury? It may be direct blow or direct trauma to forearm in defensive stance if patient is trying to protect themselves. Next is Barton's fracture. It is an intra-articular fracture of distal radius with dislocation of radiocarpal joint. You can see in the picture. Next is there are two types involved in this torsal or volar fracture. Then how does this fracture happen? If patient is fall on an extended or pronated wrist, this type of fracture can happen. Chauffeur's fracture as it is an fracture of distal styloid process of radius bone. Now you can see in the picture, you can clearly identify Next is how does this fracture happen? So, it is typically caused by compression of the scaphoid bone of the hand against styloid process. Next is Bennett's fracture dislocation. So, it is an fracture of base of first metacarpal bone and it is very common type of fracture of thumb. You can clearly identify the fracture in the picture next how does this fracture happen so if you punched a hard object with flexed metacarpal this type of fracture may happen next is boxer's fracture it is an ventrally displaced fracture of neck of fourth and fifth metacarpal you can see in the picture how does this fracture happen so if you punched a hard object with closed fist this type of fracture may occur next is side swipe fracture or baby car fracture what happened in this type of fracture is it is an fracture of distal and of humerus with fracture of proximal and of radius and ulna bone see the diagram you can identify the type of fracture next how does this fracture happen why we say children not to put his or her hand out of the window or not to sit with hand resting on a window vehicle's window. So this is the reason while traveling in a vehicle with elbow resting on the window is hit by a coming object or a vehicle on the road. Next cause may be fall on a resting elbow or being hit by solid object. I hope this video is useful for you all and if you have any query you can ask me in my comment box and yes don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you